Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. Welcome to Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. I'm your host, Mike Iglinski. Tonight's guest is, is uh, Town Board Elect. Town Board Elect, excuse me, Amy Riches. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me on your show. This is the uh, the second time you had made an attempt to yes. uh, serve on the town board. So. Yes. I ran in 2010, and I did not make it through the primary. There was three spots available, and a whole bunch of people, I think there was like 15 or 16 or something running, I did come in number seven. That was pretty good for my first try. And what they, and as far as I recall, um, I, you, like you said, I think there was 15 or so candidates uh, mm -hmm. running in the primary, and they took the top six. So you just Correct. missed the cutoff, I, right? Yeah, just missed it. Okay. <laughs> and so this time, how many people in the primary were running for the town board uh, this go-around? I think there were 12. 12, mm -hmm. and then uh, for two spots, correct? Correct. And uh, you and Mr. Bill Dolan uh, mm -hmm. actually won the elections. Yep. Um, this would be his second term, I guess, Mr. Dolan mm -hmm. coming in. So, well, congratulations. Thank you. I got the most votes of anybody. I saw that. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> um, it, it, you know, reflecting on, and I know this is a couple of weeks ago, but reflecting upon that election uh, cycle, it was pretty interesting the way that the CCSC's uh, affiliated candidates mm -hmm. um, really did quite well. Mm -hmm. And, in fact, two placements uh, in the Nye County um, uh, commissioner spots um, defeating. Oh, I don't recall. I think uh, one. Of, well, one of my knows Gary Hollis mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. Frank Carboni came in, and then Donna Cox won a seat over. It was not an incumbent. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, you want to hear something interesting? Sure. I found out quite by accident. Um, I they they said in the paper that I supported the Tea Party. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I was the actual Tea Party candidate. I was listed as a Tea Party candidate and didn't even know it. Were you really? Mm -hmm. Do you have an affiliation with the Tea Party? No, I think I believe the same way, but it was just such a surprise. I didn't even <laughs> know I was that, and then I saw it. <laughs> you might want to call the Tea Party and let them know. Yeah. Well, uh, I support them anyway. It was, uh, it, it was an interesting election. So kind of tell me, what, what makes you think that um, you know, this, uh, this subcategory uh, or, say, political group of CCSC, why are they successful in this go-around, say, versus uh, you know, primaries uh, in the past? I'm not sure about in the past. Perhaps it was the choice of candidates. I'm not sure. But I think people are hearing the message of less government, more rights. We're for the Constitution. And I'm a servant of the people. That's the only thing I can think of. What was your platform that you were running on that you felt connected to the voters? Well, I didn't like the fact that they spent money like water through a hose. I didn't like the money that they spent on... When you say I, they, you're talking about the town board. Yes. Okay, I never can remember the name that I'm supposed to call it by, so I'll call it Harley World, okay? I mean, for $361,000, we got two pieces of paper, thanks. Um, I didn't like, um, I, I just, I, I, I didn't feel they were for the people. I, I that, the that whole, are you, now, now, one of the things that, that uh, had, had happened uh, since the last election cycle before your election, um, we had actually lost a town board member in Carolyn Endersby. Carolyn Endersby, she was very nice. So we had a, a four-person town board now. Mm -hmm. um, and really three, because the chairperson um, is not really supposed to debate or to vote unless it's to break a tie, so really only had three. <laughs> Um, one of the things I know that had, had changed, um, again, this is after the, the 2010 election cycle, um, there was a limit on um, time for the public to actually voice their opinion during the town board meetings. Not only that, but then they decided, Mike Darby brought it up, and, I, and it, it's legal what they did, okay. They said, you can only talk before and after the meeting, instead of on each agenda item before a vote is taken. Listen, there are only so many ways to hear from the public, in person, phone, fax, or email, okay? You're in there to do the job of the people. Mm -hmm. If you don't listen to the people, how do you know which way to vote? Well, they didn't care. So you feel like the town board was not voting uh, in the best interest of their constituency, but voting upon whatever their Whatever they wanted to do. They didn't care. Their personal devices. They didn't care. Yeah, they didn't care. So, okay, I mean, I guess that ushers in the new era when you're sworn in. When are you actually sworn in? December 18th. Okay, so very soon. 
Um, another interesting thing that had happened with this election cycle was the passage of Question 2, which actually was, was uh, drafted, or I should say, mm -hmm. enacted by um, uh, Ms. Donna Cox. Uh-huh. Uh, well, let me tell you something. The board brought it on themselves. Yeah, the people have voted. The people have spoken. The people have said, you know what, we don't like how you treated us. We don't like it at all. I mean, my personal opinion is... For the viewers, let me explain what question two essentially did. Okay. Um, question two, in a nutshell, um, allows for the town board to vote on an item and essentially rubber stamp it to be presented to the Nye County Commission before any funds can be dispersed to enact or support a, a, an item. That is correct, except, now, well, they're given a budget. We're given a budget. Well, first, let me explain to you how it works. Okay, we, I will be town board for two years mm -hmm. because Tom Waters and Harley Cocken, it's not the people, it's their term that has to be served out. There's two years left on their term. At the end of two, two years, then we go to advisory board status where virtually um, pretty much everything at that point is county. Um, we, I, I believe we're given a certain amount of monies or a certain amount that we can spend, but you need, uh, for anything over that, you need um, county very, commissioner's it's approval. It's a very small amount. Right, and county commissioners, and, and they bought it on themselves, county commissioners have to approve it. I don't, I don't think you can make ordinances and stuff like that. I'm not sure about that, but basically the county runs everything, okay? And, I, I mean, the county will listen to you. I, I look forward to working with the county. I think we'll be a great team. But um, that's quite different than the current sitting town board members or say the ones that are going to be serving through their term. Right. For two years, I will be standard town board member. Right. Oh, well, not standard like they are, but, you know, I'll be town board. The people have spoken. That's a, that's my job is to do the will of the people. It brings an interesting debate, though, or at least a question to be answered from um, a soon to be town board member. Right. Um, you have a very unique uh, position to, to comment on this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we currently uh, in, in Nye County have seen uh, a time and time again um, an incorporation uh, uh, measure being, mm -hmm. I guess, presented to the voters mm -hmm. um, with the feeling that uh, the county is not best serving the interests of Pahrump as the highest tax base in the county. Mm -hmm. You are not concerned from the town, from I guess from the town advisory board ship once it enact that the county commission now only has more power, in fact all the spending power for this for the town. Well, I'm absolutely against incorporation. I ran on that platform. People know me. No, I'm totally against. Uh, this is where I had a problem with question two. I understood it. I understood why the people did it, um, but I also felt like. You're taking away a whole platform of government, of, of representation in government, and you only have the one, okay? Okay. Now, on the other hand, I'm for less government and more rights, but now, you see, the county commissioners will make the final say in two years out, and I just say, well, we just wait and see what happens. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to our first commercial break. We'll come back okay. and we'll continue to talk about this. Okay. We'll be right back. Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates.